Tonight, there are calls for the community to come together and support the families of the five people shot in Franklin Park over the weekend. WBC's Paul Burton joins us live in Jamaica Plain tonight. And Paul, an activist you spoke with says this support is key in helping the community to heal. Yeah, the Lewis D. Brown Peace Institute says it's important for families who experience trauma to get the help they need. Sadly, last night's shooting is another example of a community hurting and in need of healing. It's like shocking. We're devastated, we're sad, we're heartbroken. A horrifying scene in Boston after police say five people were shot Sunday night near Franklin Park at a gathering following what was a peaceful Dominican Day parade and festival. Police say shots rang out on Circuit Drive in Roxbury just before 9 p.m. Officers heard multiple gunshots coming from the crowd. It was currently uh, three males, two females. All of the victims were taken to local hospitals. A teenage girl was shot in the leg and was in surgery today. Police say none of the injuries are life-threatening. If anyone has any video footage, anything of that sort, we really need help on this one because we need to hold these people responsible. I was four when my brother was murdered. Alexandra Dorellis is with the Louis D. Brown Peace Institute in Dorchester. She lost her brother Louis back in 1993 while on his way to a Teens Against Gang Violence Christmas party. He was caught in the crossfire between two groups shooting at each other. She says last night's shooting is another reminder of the trauma families have to go through. As a community re-traumatized every time something like this happens again, we thank God um, that it's not life-threatening and we know that the damage has been done. Alexandra says the Peace Institute provides support for those impacted by trauma, murder, grief, and loss, making sure families have equitable resources and focusing heavily on the younger community known as Generation Peace. They're beautifying their neighborhoods. They are engaging each other in conversations around, you know, what they want to see in their community. And it's our job to make sure families have access to talk about murder, trauma, grief, and loss um, so that, you know, when we're at festivals, that it's about the festivities. Meanwhile, once again, Boston police asking for the public's help. Anyone who have, may have cell phone video or may have witnessed the shooting to please come forward with any information. Live in Dorchester, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.